the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Welcome back to our weekly parish video message. I'm glad that you're able to join us tonight. As we come to the end of the Lent, we are joining the Universal Church as we enter into the Sacred Triditum, when the Church solemnly celebrates the greatest mysteries of our redemption. On Thursday evening, the Church celebrates the Lord's Supper, and on Friday, we will commemorate the Lord's Passion. And on Holy Saturday evening, we will begin our celebration of the Lord's resurrection, that is, the Lord's victory over sin and death. Not wanting to get ahead of myself, but also realizing that this is our last video message before Easter, I wish everyone a happy and blessed Easter. On behalf of Monsignor Michael McGee and Deacon Mace Mazzoni, Mrs. Teresa Leonetti O'Connor, our Director of Parish Services, Ms. Jean Madden, our Director of Religious Education and Director of Music, Mrs. Cara Haggerty, our Holy Family Regional Catholic School Principal, our Parish Pastoral Council, our Parish Finance Council, our Parish Staff, and our Educational Staff in our prep and also our Regional Catholic School. And in my own name, I wish you and your families a very blessed Easter day and Easter season. Liturgically, at Easter, we will be especially celebrating the Paschal Mystery, that is, we will be commemorating the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ as we are being called to rejoice in the Lord always. As we reflect on the blessings which we have received individually and communally, we are certainly grateful to the Lord, our God, for our Catholic faith and the freedom to practice it. It is a faith which allows us to live in this world imitating Jesus' love for others, while at the same time being oriented toward eternal life with God forever, because Jesus has made all this possible through his death and resurrection. Turning to our expanded outreach to those in need of food, once again, on behalf of our Martha's Cupboard Ministry, here at St. Francis Cabrini, we thank our parishioners for their generosity in providing so much food on the third weekend of March. It was delightful to see our parishioners bringing so many bags to the church on that particular weekend. As pastor, it made me so proud to see the response to our appeal to provide food for those who are experiencing food insecurities. In addition to appealing for food, we're also appealing for our parishioners to get the word out to anyone in our local area who might be in need of food. To this end, we sent an email blast to over 1,200 people asking for their help to spread the word. People can remain anonymous and simply let someone else make known their need, and we will be pleased to make arrangements to deliver the food. We are pleased to welcome anyone who would like to assist in the cupboard, which is located on our campus in the Father Heron building, or would be interested in delivering the food, we currently have over 40 parishioners who have offered to assist in this important ministry of feeding the hungry. All are most welcome to join us. Please call the rectory at 215-946-4040. Finally, as we have been announcing, our monthly food collection will be on the third weekend of each month, which is the weekend after Easter. Food can be brought to the church before any of our weekend or daily masses. Again, we thank everyone for their assistance. As we move along in the sacred triduum, let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. A happy and blessed Easter to all.